Throw the big last ball in the air. Do a 360 and catch it. On one, two, and three. Enjoyed the air show. Say yeah. Yeah. yeah! Said no one ever who saw the Blue Angels. <laughs> My name's Anthony Grappino. No, I know they are the Thunderbirds, but I said whoever didn't see the Blue Angels. Never mind, you didn't get the joke. That's okay. My name's Anthony Grappino. I'm 21 years old from Lake Orion, Michigan. I'm going to do a very quick 20 minute set. If you want to see the actual magic show, you're going to have to buy tickets Friday, July 7th. I'm opening for the Impractical Jokers right here in Traverse City. This is a very short preview. Tickets are only 35 bucks. Recommended donations here are 5 to 20 or $100 if you want me to go home with you tonight. Yeah. Who wants to see something cool? Say yeah! yeah. All right, do me a favor. If everyone could come right up to the chain here. I want you guys all to stay on the brick. The reason why is because if you do not stay on the brick, if you block that sidewalk for people walking through, I get a $500 fine. I'm not trying to get that kind of fine. I don't got that kind of money. But I do have an idea. I need uh, someone in the audience. I need a volunteer. We'll start by doing one magic trick. After, what's your name, sir? Liam, then I'll give Liam a big round of applause. Come on out here, buddy. Do you like magic, Liam? Uh, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> All right. All right, do me a favor. Stand right here, buddy. Now, Liam, what I want you to do is just kind of hang out for a moment uh, because I forgot to mention this. At the very end of the show, like I said, I'm just going to do a very quick show. I'm going to do a magic trick, and at the end of the show, who's that for that one magic trick? I'm going to allow two people to tie me in a straight jacket and 40 feet of chain that is on the ground. If I cannot escape from your confinements, I will give you $100 to leave with. That is a promise. Uh, so if you guys want to try and win some money, say yeah! Yeah! All right, I've been all around the world, and now I'm here on the street corners of Traverse City, so this should be fun. Uh, let's see, Liam, uh, check it out. I'm going to put my mic down so that people who really want to see the show will have to pay attention and stay very quiet. Liam, do me a favor. Uh, reach inside the bag. Oh! Oh, I didn't get him. <laughs> Darn. That's okay. Strong boy. Now, Liam, uh, this is an egg. Is there, there's nothing else in the bag? No other objects or anything? Check it out, Liam. I'm going to place this object inside the bag right here. Do you feel it in my hand? This right here? Alright, I'm going to pull this pin really inside the back of this. Look, check it out. I'm going to take my hand out of the bag. I have not stolen anything. Do you still see the egg? In a moment I'll allow it to drop back into the bag. Do you feel the egg there? Do you feel the egg? Wave your hand. Wave your hand over the back. Wave your hand over. Vanished, just like so. Liam, look in the bag. Do you see an egg? Stick your hand in there, feel around. No egg. Pull it through all the way through. Pull, pull, pull. All the way through, just like this. Look inside the bag. Is there an egg? No egg. Do me a favor, Liam. Pull the bag up high, just like this. All the way up. Up, up, up. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, we have a corner right there. That's okay. Liam, do you see this invisible egg? No. Check it out. I'm going to throw it to you on one, two, three. Catch it. Reach inside the bag, pull out that egg, they'll give you a big round of applause. <laughs> and because it's real, that's a souvenir for you. I'm just joking. I have an idea. We'll try something. Now, uh, before we move on, Liam did a great job. Who has a dollar? Who has a dollar? Anyone have a dollar on him? <laughs> Quickly, Liam did a really good job at Hate from Believe Unpaid. Look at all these people that act like they don't have money after they rented out the hotels. That's a bunch of BS, I don't believe you. Who has a dollar for Liam? By the way, kids, if your parents don't let you tip me at the end of the show, they don't love you, so maybe cough it up now. Let's go. Who has a dollar? I'm serious. Anybody. There's a dollar for our boy here. Perfect. Liam, you see this dollar bill? Hold that high up in the air. Okay, hold it up. And see this lady right here? What's your name, miss? Really? Go get, yes, go get that dollar to her. Get used to that. Get very used to that. Give him a big round of applause. That's called growing up or marriage. All right, let's see. I need a volunteer. Somebody to help me out. Somebody who looks like they go to the gym. Somebody
Somebody looks like they got big broad biceps. Big broad. Look at him smile like I'm going for him. He's yeah. like, that's me he's talking about. How about John? What's your name, sir? John, is this your wife? She's so pretty. You must be rich. Good for you, man. Good for you. Everybody give John a big round of applause. He comes out over here. All right, John, I need your help. John, do you know what this is? What is it? No, this is an alternative to Children's NyQuil. <laughs> By the way, I do have some great jokes in this show. Some of these jokes your kids shouldn't get. If they do get that, that's not my fault. That's just called bad parenting. Take it out on yourself. But there are six straps on the back of a straight jacket. It's made out of canvas and leather. The jacket is designed so the more that I struggle, the tighter that it's going to get. And uh, I could possibly break my rib. Uh, I have torn my rotator cuffs uh, previously in my life. I could do that again, although I don't plan to. But we're going to step it up a little bit more. There's 40 feet of chain on the ground that I want two more people to tie me in. Let's get some girl power in here. Over the age of 18, I'm sorry, all the younger people in the audience are not strong enough to tie me in. I've done this 1,362 times, not that I'm counting. Uh, let's see, how about, um, let's see, how about, who came here with, who looks like, who's got a fat wallet? Let's find you. All right, let's come on over here. Yes, perfect, you miss, what's your name? What's your name? Carissa? That was my name when I was a girl, so this will work very well. Everyone give her a big round of applause, come on over here. Some people are like, that joke's distasteful. It's 2017, get over it. Hold that padlock for me, are you familiar with chain miss? Yes, good man, he's like, yes yeah, she is. Woo! Would you do me a favor, grab that end of the chain for me, and then I'll bring it right over here. All right, and uh, how about, uh, let's see, how about, how about you, sir? No, my name's Anthony. Nice to meet you. No, you don't want to help? No, okay. All right. How about you, Michigan State? Sure, I'll help you. Sure, what's your name? Scott, that's my mother's name. Nice to meet you. Grab that chain for me. Stand right over here. Now do me a favor. Uh, I want you both to roll up the chain like a hose or a cable. So you stand over there, start rolling it up so the slack picks up. Start rolling up the chain like a hose or a cable. Perfect. See how they got right to work? That's how you know they're not from West Bloomfield. No. West Bloomfield, they snap their fingers twice and they wait. It's super awkward. <laughs> I live in my Korean, so not much better. But I do tell that joke in West Bloomfield and it's ten times funnier. So, I have an idea. You guys want to see the escape? Say yeah! yeah! That was so lame. That's over here. This is a group. that just stand in your hands in your pockets. Don't say nothing. We'll try it again. You want to see the escape? Say yeah! Perfect. Move in. Everyone squeeze. Not the front row. You guys are good. You guys squeeze in tight. I pay a pickpocket good money to rob you, okay? So, you're going to make this job a lot easier for me. I'm going to put the mic down as well, and we're going to have some fun. Yeah. All right, do me a favor. Of course, the sun comes out right now. Yeah. I'm going to go inside. Oh, it's already sweating. I'm going to go inside the jacket, work your way from the top strap towards the bottom. Is your sweat mark. Now, kids, do me a favor. All right, this is what four years of university looks like. Get a master's degree. You think I'm joking? Okay. Stay in school. What are you gonna be? What do you want to be when you grow up? You just a dentist. Good answer. Perfect. How about you, sir? A game designer. You're actually gonna bank it in. I have a friend who does that. Mechanical engineering right now is the most sought out job in Michigan. The second most sought out job in the United States. So, just gonna give that nice little tip out there. How's it going, sir? Good, good. Come in close, bring your wallet with you. Perfect. <laughs> now, kids, we're gonna play a game. After the show, I wanna see how fast you can get from your parents' pockets to my backpack and how many times you can do it in a row. Okay, it's a great game. All right, how are we doing back there? Now, the six straps on the back of a straight jacket lock me in by my shoulders, back, sides, and stomach. This is the arm strap that goes behind my back. Yep, pull tight. Lock that bad boy in. All right, now there's an eight strap that points straight down. We're not gonna do what you just did to that last strap. <laughs> okay. So here's how it's gonna go. Check it out, I'm gonna swing it to you on three. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. What? Two. Do not go early, sir. We'll try it again. One. Right. Oh, keep it to the right. Keep it. All right. no, I'm serious. 
<laughs> You're gonna have to adjust it now, sir. No. <laughs> Loosen it a little bit. All right, no courtesy. That's fine. Are you married? You must be married. That's, that's a question. <laughs> Give him a big round of applause. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. This is where you two come in. Hold tight on the chain. This is very important. On straight jacket, can't kill me. Can it kill me? It can really hurt me. But the chain can kill me. You're gonna wrap it between my elbows and my shoulders. If you go below the elbows, the weight difference will drop off and it'll make it really easy. But if you go above the shoulders and it wraps around my neck and that chain kinks, that's over for me. I, you can't untie the chain kink and you can't cut it off when it's on my neck. So, yeah, pretty much. So pull tight. All right, make me rich. No, I'm just joking. Pull tight, walk around me till all the chain's gone. Keep it tight. I don't want any slack. You already have some slack. Keep tight. Wait, walk away from each other right now. Pull tight on the chain. Perfect. Keep going till it's all gone. All right, Faster. Till all the chains gone. Faster. Till it's all gone. Faster. All right. You guys ready to see the escape? Yeah. Say yeah. yeah. You want to be a 20 yeah, after the show? Out. Say yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, no, for real, all your tips are appreciated. I've been broke too, so if you can't afford it, I totally understand. If you're worried about not having cash for the tents or anything later, everyone here takes Visa and MasterCard with me. So just leave your cash here. If you don't know how much you should tip me, put your wallet in my backpack. I'll take a fair amount and mail it to you later. <laughs> Padlock that bad boy. I think this guy's done this before. <laughs> Michigan State made it. Yeah. All right, give them both a big round of applause. Okay. You want to see the escape? Say yeah. yeah. Perfect. You guys are all terrible. Yeah, you can't be on like this. Mm. Ready to see it. No, I'm just joking. Here's how it's going to work. We'll count down from three. I yell three, you yell two. One, go. Three. And then... <laughs> What's your... She's excited. What's your name, Beth? <laughs> Angel? Yeah. Come over here, Angel. Stand right here. Stand right here. Angel's going to start the countdown. This is how it's going to work. Some of you are like, I don't know if we can wait 45 minutes. That's OK. Before I start the escape, I make sure enough donations are in my hat to cover my hospital bills. So, before you see me get out of this bad boy, I need one bill at the very least inside that bag. I can wait here all day. It looks like some of you can too. Some of you are like, we're too cheap to start it, but we're going to wait. Yeah, see these kids? They don't have jobs and they're tipping me. What's your excuse? <laughs> They always say, be kind to strangers. I just have to be the strangest person here, so. All right, are you ready? All right, during the escape, I uh, ask that you don't come up here. This chain can hit you. I'm not worried about getting sued. This is pretty much all you're gonna get, so. Other than that, it should be fine. The bigger the bill, the better. Fives are good. You give me a 10 or a 20, I'll go back to college, that's a promise. You give me a 50, I'll get my master's degree. That's also a promise. You give me a $100 bill, I might go home with you. Mm. I might go home with you. Depends, I like big houses. Nice houses. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Are you ready, Angel? Oh yeah. At the top of your lungs, so I have the power. Oh, you I gotta yell three, and then the crowd will chant, two, oh, yeah. one, go, and they'll do it with you. Oh, wait, I have to be loud. Yeah, you're gonna be loud. Ready? All right. Put you on the spot here. So, who are you here with? Your niece? Oh my gosh. All right. Sorry about this. Let's do it. Ready? You're going to do it. You just got to go three, and they'll pretty much do it with you. All right, go. Three, two, one, go. Run. Walk fast, I guess.
Tip me, that means they don't love you. Mm -hmm. Everything you got in the backpack, they will know. I'm just joking. Bigger the bill, the better. But thank you guys. Please, you can come say hi, shake hands, high fives, Instagram, Snapchat, all that fun stuff. Whoever can beat a five dollar bill, though. Oh, thank you, sir. Whoever can beat a five dollar bill, we'll get it for the day. Then we'll win. Oh, high five, buddy. I love you. Thank 